and welcome everybody on YouTube and of course here in the Twitch channel. Next deck is certainly been one of the favorites so far, Hadana Stompy. We've been crushing it with this deck so far. Um, our first league we played with it right after making it, we went 5-0. The next league, the next day we went 5-0 again. Two days uh, after that we played it again, went 5-0 yet again. And then we played it one other time and we actually went 1-2. So we're currently 16-2 overall with the deck. Um, but I think that means that we need to go 5-0 again. So, uh, no Rev Daddy, I won't be doing that, uh, event. Um, no. And, uh, yeah, so we got, basically what we got here is just Mono Green Stompy with Hadana's Climb to fly over and kill our opponent, make our creatures real big and flying. We got Dive Down to help protect our creatures. The Dive Downs have been very good. And then we also got Sideboard and a Gate. So that, those are our three blue cards that we got in our sideboard here. Or in the main deck and sideboard. So, yeah, you ready to get going? Oh, yeah, it's already 10 o'clock. Let's go. I 4 would FNM with Selesnya Angels. Awesome. All right, so who deserves a gifted sub? Who gets a gifted sub? Where's... Hadana Stompy, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and we can do a giveaway here. Giveaway. Let's let's name. Let's go Stompy. All right, type type Stompy in the chat right now if you'd like if you'd like a gifted sub. Type Stompy, and I'll stop the giveaway here in about in about a minute. You got about a minute. All right, I'm gonna. So, Jeskai taking turns and L's videos are up on YouTube. Let's get the uh, Rakdos midrange video up there as well. We were 5-1 there. Fast. I'm hoping Branch Walker finds a land and then Jade Light finds more lands. All right. You got like five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey, Digo Nate. Hello. All right. And the winner is Melodic Doom. Congratulations, Melodic Doom. Um. Let's go with this. All right, sub number 17 on the day. Thanks so much, Yager. Thanks for gifting the sub. Glad you did. Uh, glad you did great at FNM. And yeah, glad you're liking the deck. Hmm. Let's go steal lead. Oh, no ca no counter spell there. Okay. Do you ever use more than two immortal suns in a deck, even post sideboard, and why? Yeah, the uh, I like. I think I like more than two Immortal Suns in the uh, um, Explore deck. In like in decks like uh, the the Explore decks with just tons of creatures that really take advantage of it. Um, but two is kind of like my favorite number of Immortal Suns to play, though. It's certainly the the amount of num amount I play the most. Yeah, in go wide decks where you where you also have, you have to, it has to be a go wide deck. It has to be a deck that hits land drops pretty consistently as well. 
So it's got to be both of those. And, of course, it, you don't really want Planeswalkers either. Hub of the Great, thank you so much for that resub for the second month in a row. I really appreciate it. Absolutely get those hype boats out there. Hmm. Oh, I still can't even cast Galta. Just that. Um. Play Harpooner. Just now I can play Galta. Just cleansing Nova is probably going to be what kills me here. They could have like Clarion plus. I'll just go like this. The thing is, is Galta just doesn't. Galta's really bad in this matchup because we're just never going to play it. So I feel like I should just play Galta here because we're just not going to play it. Otherwise. I mean, I guess it's good that we didn't play it because it died to, to Cleansing Nova. But I mean, let's be honest. We're just never going to play this Galta. What's the Golgari matchup like with Stompy? It's usually kind of bad. Um, that's that's like the matchup that, Gol that Stompy has traditionally struggled with. Carlake Ravage, Jubacabra. Real difficult to beat. Um... However, with this version, I've actually had a pretty good record against Golgari overall. Um, thanks to the dive down and, and Hidana's climb being able to fly over watch. their chump blockers. Oh, Galta's for different matchups. Like, Galta gets sideboarded out super fast in this matchup. It's for, like, the other aggro matchups and stuff. Um, but yeah, the sweepers are, are another thing. Hard sweepers like Cleansing Nova. That's that's tough for us. But yeah, Galta is terrible in this matchup. Yeah, this one we have Carney T in instead. Whoops. Let's play these Rex Ages. And we're going to cut Harpooner. And Wild Growth Walker or Climb. Actually, against the sweep, the removal heavy decks, we don't really need Climb as much either. I guess we need to cut Wild Growth Walker also. So we gotta cut more things. Okay. What does Jeskai Control have the worst matchup against? Yeah, like Demir, Demir and Grixis is pretty bad for it. I don't think Jeskai is, is actually very good against Golgari, honestly. I like Golgari in that matchup. Um, and I think Mono White Aggro like Mon like Boros aggro splashing splashing red for like experimental frenzy but with you know Danto vanguards and stuff they're usually pretty good in that matchup also and we'll wait a turn for steel leaf here so we have dive down as well Could just play Jade Light. Kind of like Jade Light. Helps me hit land drops. Mm -hmm. I guess Scatter is like the reason to play Steel Leaf there. Have you thought about adding the Immortal Sun in the board for this deck? Not really, no. No, I like our I like our Vivian sideboard plan. I'm known for my no time for a break. All right, so we'll be able to attack and kill Teferi. Ooh, and we can play Rexage. That's pretty nice. I'm getting too old for this. Hmm. I think I'd rather hold up Negate. In case we're cleansing Nova. Let's let's play the Branch Walker because I want I do want land so. I like playing the Branch Walker here over the Rex Age. Yeah, they may just have like a bunch of Teferis in their hand, maybe.
So we'll see what they got. <laughs> a good Teferi is a dead Teferi. No, no Rex Age still, because I don't... You know, like, if I play Rex Age, I, ca I cannot hold up Negate. And I want to hold up Negate for, for a Cleansing Nova. So they could have Syncopate, potentially. I would like to draw a land still. No land. So do I slam Vivian? I think I do just play Vivian still. Even though they, they could Syncopate it. I think it's worth it. They did have Syncopate. Oh, so it's going Dang. to be like that, huh? Maybe I should just Rex Age. That could that could cost us right there. Maybe I should just Rex Age and hold up double dive down. Wow. Star of Extinction, huh? Well, we are still not casting that Vivian, but we were one turn late on drawing that land to be able to resolve Vivian there. But you know, it doesn't matter as much. Because the Vivian would have died to Star of Extinction. We need to move quickly. Hmm. And I want to start modern. Oh man. There's a lot of choices there. Yeah, that's... Modern's kind of all over the place. You can kind of play anything in modern. Yeah, I think... I don't think we're going to win this. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, I guess they didn't want their search for his cancer to, to get blown up. If I if I play Vivian and Minus, and so that that's why they just like their sync up. I guess that's why they just use their syncopate there. All right, first dive down. Second dive down. We got him down to two. We got them down to two. Two lethal attackers. There's no way they just don't have more sweepers, right? You know what? I'm not done mm. yet. They did have another sweeper. The Cleansing Nova, Star of Extinction, Deafening Clarion deck. Not necessarily the best for us. So, Carnage Tyrant? Not a Carnage Tyrant. Me, we got close. And you strike we got close. nature. I mean, it's possible we just draw a Carnage Tyrant and they don't have an answer and we kill them. So I don't necessarily Keep want to concede, pace. but that seems very unlikely. OK. 
Okay. We had a few turns in there that, you know, like us getting stuck on mana really hurt us early in the game. A few turns we couldn't really get to Vivian early, which that's that's what we want to do in that matchup. We want to play our early things where they have to cast like their their cleansing nova. Like when they class they, when they cast cleansing nova and we negate it, and then we could not follow that up with Vivian because we didn't have the fifth mana. That's that's really what costs us there. You know, if we follow that up with Vivian, the game's over. Think if I play Rex Sage over Vivian, you win? I mean, they had another Search for Escanta in their hand. They played Search for Escanta immediately after that. So if we killed the one Search, they had another one. So our opponent is just going down to two. They they may think that we're just Golgari, depending on how long they they keep playing. Paladin of Atonement. not really worth it just to do one damage to put a counter on that Paladin. Yeah, they, they mold a three and they're trying to play. Were they at three or were they at two? They might have been at... Two. Yeah, it was us us not being able to. Um, yeah, we just we couldn't play that. We couldn't follow up with our Vivians because we we couldn't hit our fifth land drop and follow up with our Vivians after like countering the the cleansing Nova. That was our problem. But Kurt Kurtash, be nice. Another pretty good hand. All right, our opponent's keeping six this time. So they're getting a little closer to seven. All right, I think we're gonna get a game here. We'll see, I think, I think we're gonna get, I think we're gonna get a game. Yeah, but you don't need to be mean to people, though. Even, though you hate, even if you hate control. It's okay. I feel like they could just be playing, like, the Angels, right? So I, I want to keep Harpooner in my hand in case of that. We just don't know what's going on here. I think I'm just going to keep Harpooner in my hand. Lean in War Leader. Alright, so we kind of have to pick a lane here if we want to just go Null Hide or if we want to get Hidana's Climb in play first. Um, I think we can just go Null Hide. I'm going to keep two blockers back for lane and war leader. Ten 
Ender Shoot Dryad. That card is great against Null Hide Ferox. All right, well now I need Adonis Climb. Okay, good. And I'm not gonna sit back with blockers now. Opponent's got some got some cards. We had to pay for Null Hide to be able to cast a non-creature spell. You cannot cast a non-creature spell unless you pay the two mana. So that's why I paid the two mana to cast a non-creature spell. Mm. Go Jade Light plus Steel Leaf. If I hit a land. No, we're gonna win this. So I'm putting the counter on the null hide so the two null hides can team up and be 13. 13 worth of stuff. Hey, whatever main with the donation. Alright, we got a donation deck. To play. All right, let's check it out. New update ready for round three. All right, so did so what day? What day and time slot do you want me to play? The donation deck there, whatever main. Yep, I can do it tomorrow. Absolutely. You want it first, second, third, or fourth tomorrow? So yeah, whenever you whenever you donate for a donation deck, you get to pick what day you want it played, and you can pick the time slot out of the four time slots. You know, streaming three to ten, you have it first, second, third, or fourth. Are we just dead on board? Maybe. Potentially. I don't know if our opponent sees that. We're gonna kill, like our opponent's dead the next turn, so if our opponent does not attack here, they're dead. So if they wait a turn, they're dead. Yep. Second? All right, second tomorrow. Gotcha. They don't have anything with reach, right? I don't think they do. go all right one and one we had kind of an easy one there in the in the oh one bracket Okay. Whoa. What are you upset about? Play first. Man. We have been mulliganing more today. Okay. That's good. Let's get another land. Find a pen for you to play with. Somewhere around here. Here's a pen. Here you go. You want to play with pen? Alright. 
think we're on the play, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like you could keep two lands on Branchwalker. Well, we also had two Galtas that weren't doing anything, and the Nullhide wasn't doing anything. I want to play Constructed or Draft, but I also want to save for RNA. I'm conflicted. Yeah, that's a tough thing. I think playing Constructed is still kind of fine. You may want to save like your gems and stuff from Draft Sealed. But no, I understand. It's That's tough. DJ Poly B, I'm I'm planning on watching that game after after the stream here. Just tell me where are they at in the game. I don't really want to know score and stuff, but tell me like where are they at like time wise in the game and stuff. So I wonder, you know, because I I need to wait for the game to be over and then watch like the full. I'm gonna watch the full game replay. I have like the the NFL pass where I can watch like the the replays of the games. 3:40 left third quarter. Okay. So, ooh, I'm certainly blocking. Is that not better just to Wizards Lightning the creature and then you deal one less damage but you have a 2-1 in play? Isn't that a little better? Yeah, it certainly looks like Experimental Frenzy is coming up, right? Like how our opponent's getting cards out of their hands. Or maybe not. Um... Yeah, we'll just take this. No, it actually works just fine with them. Um, so, usually for what I've kind of found out with Nullhide Ferox, or what I've what I've noticed is actually, and I'm gonna go other Steel Leaf Champion. The Steel Leafs are unblockable. I like five four unblockable more than six six blockable. I think, it, right now in this matchup for what's going on in the game. Um, what's happened so many times with Nullhive and Nullhive, Nullhide and Dive Down. There we go. I was trying to say Nullhide and Dive at the same time. Nullhide and Dive Down is that, um, like I'll have my Nullhide in play, play it early. My opponent pays the two mana to make it lose the ability so they can target it, so they can cast down it or whatever. And then I have my one extra mana for Dive Down, and then I save it with Dive Down. And then it's just like way too hard to kill the Nullhide after that. If you do have Frenzy or um, Hadana's Climb, Hadana's Climb does cost five mana with Nullhide, which is not really that big of a deal. You know, paying five mana for Hadana's Climb. We did that the last game. It's really not that big a deal. No, they can cast they can cast non creature spells. I cannot cast non creature spells. They can cast non creature spells. So they're good. No. No, it doesn't work like that. Alright, so if I take four, they could have shock to kill me. I'm gonna decline. You can just draw your three cards. You have one mana. You can have whatever you want for the one mana. Um So they need they need a one mana creature to be able to block, but no, they can't they can't have both block steel leaf champions with one mana creatures. So note, it's only something that you just pay two and it just loses the ability of the hex proof and can't cast non creature spells thing until end of turn. I don't think if you dive down and you just pay the two again. I don't think. But usually people even if that would be the case, people haven't had the mana for that. It says all abilities. That's a, that's a good point. All abilities. So it loses that ability. So you can't have that ability anymore. Good point. Uh, let's see. We're playing against Burn. Ripjaw is coming on in. This is a Ripjaw matchup for sure. Harpooner going on out. And uh, I think that may be about it. Negate's Maybe better than climb. We we don't really need climb in this matchup. Maybe we just want negate. 
Rexage could destroy Frenzy. Vivian can destroy Frenzy. Do I kill about that? Do I, not kill. Care about that. Not really. Do I need all these dive downs? No, Galta's... This is the matchup for Galta. Galta's great in this matchup. Like, our opponent cannot beat a Galta at all. I'm just not sure if I, I want four dive downs to go with four negates. If I want to play, like, a climb or two in there. Let's go, like, three dive down, one climb. No, it's not too slow. So, like, the thing about the red deck, like, the red deck turn, like the red deck turns into the control deck here. Like, they're going to have just so many burn spells and stuff and trying to kill our things. And so, like, a card like Climb turning my 5-4 Steel Leaf Champion into a 6-5 so it can't get Lava Coiled is a big deal. And so on. And, you know, just has our cards kind of trade up. It's a big deal. Hey, Melon for dinner. You know, it's not, like, a, a huge deal as in, like, I'm keeping lots of climbs. You know, I did sideboard a bunch out, but... We got sub number 19 on the day. That deserves some hype. Thank you so much, Melon, for dinner. You're always amazed by the hands I keep Moldus... Well, if it has lands, I'm probably keeping. Standard's all about lands, with, especially with best of three. Best of one, yet yeah, I would mulligan a lot differently, honestly. Best of three and best of one certainly need to like like they're they're basically different formats. How best of three and best of one work? Best of three, or sorry, best of one people curve out so much more consistently than best of three because of how how um, two hands are generated and you get like the best land to spell ratio of the two hands. So. The, uh, because of that, people curve out so much more often, and curving out is so much more valuable. And so, like, you can't really keep hands like, like that in best, of, in best of one. Best of one's like, a, it's just a different format. <laughs> Where did that go? There's a big cat in front of the screen. And there's our 20th sub of the day, Dark X Knight. Thank you so much, Dark X Knight. That gets some hype. Yeah, Hawkeye's named after the Iowa Hawkeyes. All right, we got to our next sub goal. get a daylight ranger daylight ranger would have been nice um so no hide plus land war i suppose all right since we got to our uh next one no, I haven't really thought of quasi duplicate with this. I think the mana would be kind of rough, and I think quasi duplicate works a lot better with ETB creatures. So, 60 second pull. Y'all know the drill M19, Dominaria, RIX for Rivals of Ixalan, or XLN for Ixalan. So, what's our next pack that we're about to go get? What's it going to be?
Just no attacks? If I play Wild Growth Walker, I don't get to play Galta. So we're playing Galta. Yeah, we could sure use a Jade Light. Right? Because right now, it's just... Oh, dang. Basically seeing if the opponent can find two burn spells. Well, now now they have lethal. Actually, yeah, they have lethal on the ground. Alright, 15 seconds left in the pool. But for what set you want us to crack open. Alright, Dominaria. Hey, Dominaria got us that rear wild card last time. No, it's not bad manners to concede. No, never. This is Jungle by Tash Sultana. Or Tosh? I think it's Tosh. Yeah, I'm digging this deck. I like this deck a lot. Yeah, Rex Age is, is an option in the matchup. Like, it, you know, it's obviously very good against Frenzy. The problem is, is Rex Age is very bad against any other time. If the opponent does not have an Inspiral Frenzy in play, Rex Age is really bad. A 3 mana 2 1. Um, honestly, the Rex Ages should probably be Thrashing Brontodons in the sideboard. Thrashing Brontodon is very good in this matchup, just for, like, the body. And I would be bringing in Thrashing Brontodons for sure. So, honestly, Rex H should probably just be thrashing brought it on. Alright, Kurtash. Let's win this. Yeah, the song command takes a little while. It's like whenever you click it, it like starts listening to the song for a little while and then says, says it or something. Oh, you're the Is It Drake's player with the fiery cannon names. Hey, good games. GG's. And welcome to the stream. Alright, I need to type out some stuff for the Rakdos midrange deck to put that up on YouTube. Okay, no removal spell. That's lucky. And our opponent didn't just kill the branch walker in response to the explore trigger with like a firebrand. They didn't just like shoot it once. Walker lives it to explore creatures, these decks almost always win. Yeah. Yeah, Wild Growth Walker is great. Hey, Hawkeye. Okay. Need your cat butt off the camera. You can come sit on my lap instead. Is this Jade Light just gonna work? I mean, I'd rather play Nullhide or Ripjaw. But I think I, I kind of just should should try this, right? Uh, they have Shock plus Double Firebrand. Which, that's fine with me. That's a 3 for 1 after we gain 3 life. So they're down to 4 cards. I don't think they can uh, do anything about this. Library. That was a great host yesterday. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, MTG Nurgle had a wonderful stream yesterday. Yeah, opponent's very dead. Looks like we're about to be 2-1, Hawkeye. I can't really imagine what they can have from here. Like, they're gonna have to have, like... Oh, I don't know, they're just taking... Yeah, this is just over. Alright, 
Let's get this YouTube video ready to go. And that's two and one. All right, we're getting a Dominari pack. I'm not forgetting it. We got 20 subs on the day. Here, sit down. Here. Red deck did not quite win. Red deck doesn't win. All right, pack. Dominaria. Ooh, new card. New card. Let's see what we got. Black Blade Reforged. This is a card that I kind of want to build around. There's not enough good legendary creatures. It's hard. It's probably amazing and limited. It's probably amazing and limited. Ooh, a squee? Squee's a good one. Yeah, that's a card people keep yelling at me to put in decks. <laughs> All right, two and one. Let's see if we can get a five, another five one. Here, yeah, we have had a really good day. Five zero four two five one now two one. That's probably why the leagues have been taking a while. Yeah, we've yeah we actually have had some good legendary decks. The uh, but like the Bant legendary deck, the Grixis legendary deck, we got five wins, five wins with both of those. Um, Naya legends, we went we went four two with that one. I liked the Naya legend deck. Find the Jeskai turns deck, exclamation point decks. That's where you always find any of the decks. Right there. You can also find the video of me playing it on my brand new YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash C slash MTG. Which I'm getting the the Rakdos mid-range. I'm loading that one right now. Galta. All right, we got Galta. What are we playing against? Blue, red. I mean, if they're if they're Jeskai, I do not want this Galta. If they're Drakes, I think I want the Galta. So, do y'all think they're Drakes or Jeskai? I mean, they just play Steam Vents and Tapped. It's hard to tell. I'll just go to the library. Oh, it's Jeskai. No. Well, I'm certainly playing Steely here because I don't want, my, don't want them both to die to Deafening Clarion, right? I don't want them to get the value off Deafening Clarion. Well, there's actually... If they do not kill Branchwalker, we can just cast Galta next turn. Yeah, I'm certainly just going to do that. I'm going to get this thing out of my hand as soon as possible. If it trades for a counter spell, that's good for me. Oh, actually, I play against Drakes all the time. Drakes is definitely one of the most played decks, played against decks <clears throat> for me. All right, so we got Galta out of our hand. Yeah, it's a deck that's not control, not aggro. So it's it's a deck that's that switches roles depending on the matchup. Maybe it'll be the aggressive deck in the matchup against control decks. It'll be the control deck in the matchup against aggro decks. So in case they have settle... Yeah, they had settle. Called it. Probably don't look like they had settle. Not seal away. Oh, no, bad attack against seal away. Good attack against settle. Mm. 
I don't think they have another settle. Galta forced three cards out of them. Did it? I mean, it just traded with a, a settle and I got a land, right? Isn't that all it did? Please no cleansing Nova. Well, it doesn't it doesn't count with opt. I mean they're just they're gonna play that opt no matter what. You can't really say that the the um whatever it's called had no no bearing on on that. Hopefully this resolves. The Galta had no bearing on the on the opt. Dang. I should have sacked everything. They didn't have settled the previous turn. Now my creatures just died to Hadana's climb. Or sorry, they died to Deafening Clarion, which is really annoying. Would you recommend adding the new Hydra Jellyfish creature into this deck over Galta? Probably. We'll have to kind of see what else is in the like in the set and everything. So is this a settle the wreckage? They haven't had settled the wreckage previously. They have active as Kanta. I'm not winning a long game. Let's attack. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do some more. Let's just make it fifteen. Okay. Um Got the first one against Jess Guy. Definitely very good, especially how we get to sideboard a bunch. So it's definitely really good to get that first one with how we sideboard so much. I like our sideboard plan that we had last time, which was this. Looks like a good sideboard plan to me. Yeah, the Rakdos list. I think I may have it on my copy-paste still. I think that's it. But yeah, exclamation point decks. You can find all the decks in there. Uh, the Rakdos midrange, I think you have to scroll down for a little bit. It wasn't like a brand new one that I just put up today. Did I ever update the... I never even updated the deckless command to be Hidana's Stompy, though, did I? Did I ever update the deckless command? I don't think I did. I'm not sure if anybody told me that. Yeah, that's the latest Naya value list. Yep. The one from two days ago. Oh, 
Ah. Yeah, what did we lose to? We lost to Jeskai Control. We, um... Got too many sweepers. And we couldn't... Essentially, the... The game we... Like, we could not get to enough lands for... Um... We couldn't get our fifth land drop for Vivian. You know, we, we countered a... A Cleansing Nova. And we could not untap and, and play a Vivian. Even though... You know, we were on the play. So our opponent had already had five mana for Cleansing Nova. We didn't have five the turn before for Vivian. And then we could not untap and have five yet again, so that was certainly rough for us. Um, so our opponent's kind of like representing Deafening Clarion kind of stuff here. Let's get, let's get a Null Hide into play. I have no counter magic. I'd love to find a Vivian. That's all I want to do is find it at the end. Hmm. That's good with Null Hide. Um. Do I want to cast Branch Walker? Yeah, we can cast. Er. No, I don't need to cast Branch Walker. Well then. Alright. Anything that's not Vivian, I'm getting rid of. If you run Danitha with Black Blade, would that work well? Potentially. Those are two good cards to put to the graveyard. Maybe I shouldn't necessarily just do only Vivian. Alright, where's Vivian? Vivian. Ugh. I should not have kept this dive down. I was keeping the dive down for seal away to make it like really hard for my opponent to actually seal away the the six six. So I thought, for how they were playing the lands, I thought they were also just going to be stuck on lands. They really, you know, like they just kept on playing land drops and play Conclave Tribunal. Alright, well we'll be on the play here for game three. So, yeah, it was, it was a bad decision to keep the, the dive down. <sighs> Let's try again. Retry. We do not have blue mana, of course, for these negates, but turn two Steel Leaf Champion and potentially turn three Null Hide Ferox. I'm keeping on the play. We're going to put a lot of pressure on our opponent to have, like, seal aways right away. They did. Bleh. Okay, well we did find a blue source, but it's Woodland Stream, not Breeding Pool. Breeding pool would have been much better for us, but 
still have a decent chance of this game. You know, negate, negate should be nice. Finding. Hmm. I have a worse chance of this game now. <laughs> yep. X wage point song and then the bot will catch up on you. These negates costing 4 mana isn't really that big of a deal considering we don't have other things to play and we don't have ways to like double spell with them. So, looking like maybe settle the wreckage here. Okay. Get that hit in there. How do you beat Jeskai with a Lyra out? I mean, we, I don't know, we have a bunch of Vivians in our deck. A Vivian can kill a Dawnbringer. I guess, maybe, I guess we're just going to have to put more on the battlefield. Alright, we got Sabotage out of their hand. And they ditched Spell Pierce. So... Let's go Branch Walker, look for... Look for Vivian. Gotta hit Vivian. That's really weird. Alright, we still have the 5 mana for Vivian. That's our... Our one hope. Did not get there. Just too stuck on mana. That game. Ugh. 2-2. Two, two. So we lost to Jeskai both times. Turns out Cleansing Nova. Really good against our, our creature deck. Deck with sweepers. So. Let's see what we got. Get our thousand gold back. And we got a mythic. Yep, Jeskai too good for us. We were 2-0 against non-Jeskai and 0-2 against Jeskai. So, Azor the Lawbringer. We got all Jeskai cards. <laughs> Blue, white, red, and white. Yeah. I know whenever we were doing really well earlier, we weren't necessarily playing against Jeskai. But I don't think our matchups, hor like, you know, we lost both times against Jeskai. But it was a lot of getting stuck on lands. Um, with that. A lot of that was, was like the tough part there. So. So there we go. So if you're watching here on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit the subscribe button and I uh, hope 
you know, hope to watch another video after this. Thanks for watching.